Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. 10 minutes, starting the timer right now. Boom. Boom. Uh, Jonas? Yeah? I don't give a crap about uh, meatloaf or... Uh, <laughs> Why do you hate foods? No. <laughs> Jesus. No, I don't give a crap oh. about meatloaf, meatloaf or Betty White or who was the other person? Tom... Bob Saget? Tom McDonald, Bob Saget. I, I don't Tom care. McDonald? Who's that? Tom Norman McDonald. Norm McDonald. Okay. You yeah. don't care that they died? Um, I don't. I don't. Okay. Um, I also have a hard time, uh, <sighs> cancel culture. I also have a hard time giving a crap about some of these police officers that have passed away in least in recent days either. Jonas, my thing is that, uh, people die every day. Oh, I got you. I see what you mean. It isn't so people. much that you don't care that they died. Oh yeah. Like, you're like, you're oh. like human life is human life, but. Yeah, you got to reel them in with something hot. You I got know, you. I, <laughs> I see. I see what you mean. I got people you. People die every day. I really don't understand why we like even. I, I get it. Beloved individuals, prestigious occupation, they die, and you know you hear about it on the news, on the Reddit. It's all over the place. People right, are having right. memorial services. Yo, let, let's have one for my grandma. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Let's go because she was a good lady. You know, she, well, no, she I, did her shit. I feel what you're saying. Well, and it's, it's, it comes back to that idolization culture. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, did I, did I think Betty White seemed like she was a cool lady? Yeah, and yeah. did I watch Golden Girls when I was a kid and didn't yeah. really understand it? Sure. Yeah. Ultimately, does it matter to me if Betty White is alive or no. dead? Not really. Bob Saget. I watched Full House as a kid all the time. Uh-huh. It, it does it suck that maybe he'll, I'll never get to watch him do new stand up material? Sure, okay. I never wa I was a huge fan of this. I mean, I would watch it if it was on, but I didn't seek it out. Okay, I got one for yeah. you, Mac Miller. Yeah, that I, one hits you. Well, that one hit. Well, you. no, here's the thing. That one hit you in a different way. Well, you know why it hit me? Because I was about to go see him in concert like two months <laughs> after that, and I was like, damn oh, it. Oh, damn, that does suck. He was coming to Austin in November. He died in September. Mm -hmm. But you know what's funny is I didn't really get into his music until that album came out. Mm. Because that that album and the one they released post, His last one, post humanist about. or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because they released an entire another album he had done that he didn't release mm. on top of the one that came out. Those are so much different than anything else he had ever done. They were definitely more funky and like they were not like. And I don't really like the stuff that he had when he came out when he was a kid. Oh, like, see, and I loved kid. Kids was a good album. I loved Blue Slide Park. I was listening to him back then, and then I kind of fell off. Yeah, the newer album. Picking them up. Yeah, I don't know. Well, and it, and only and that's really the only reason it hit me. I was like, damn, I would have loved to go see him in concert at some yeah. point. And I guess that's where it hits me with famous people. It's like if I if you're a musician that I currently listen to your music, yes, yeah. that sucks because I don't get any more of your music. If you're on a show and the show has to change a character or end the show because you died, that yeah. sucks because I appreciate your product. But so ultimately, is, like, is it really because you, like that person dies and you want to show remembrance to that person, or is it? Oh man, come on! Right, it's more selfish. <laughs> you're only on his second season. It's yo. more selfish than anything. Here's here's the real thing. Even Mac Miller hot take: the dude died of a drug overdose. Man, like how yeah. can, like how bad can you feel for someone who essentially kills themselves? Like, yeah, it sucks. He was only like 27 or whatever. That sucks. He had a whole life ahead of him and probably would have done a lot more cool ass music. Same thing with Kurt Cobain and the guy from fucking S Sublime. And, and I already know somebody out there is like, yeah, but they were going through depression and that's not to be. Muff, everybody's going through depression. All right. Well, here's Everybody the other thing. Is. But here's the thing, too. Depression doesn't give you a right to be a drug addict. It doesn't give you the right to kill yourself either. Right. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, it sucks. Not, you got to handle that. You got to right. handle exactly. that. Exactly. So, it's. And it, I already see the person in the comments like, you can't just handle it. Look, I'm just saying that Mac Miller's death is no more important than the, the guy next door who just killed his wife. Right. Exactly. You know? It's not, dude. It's not. And, and, and trust me, I have lived a lot of my life with depression and I've, ha I've handled it. And if it ever got out of control where like I couldn't get out of effing bed every day, I'd figure out a way to handle it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like it just has luck. Fortunately, it's never got that bad for me. You know, I know some people can't wake up and get out of bed in the morning, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So... Um, I realize it's a real thing. I will never discount what depression can do to a human being. It can completely kill your world. Yeah. But 
you know, yeah. there is, there's many, many resources, even free resources out yeah. there to help you. Yeah. So, you know. So, so with that being said, now that we've kicked all of the famous people out of the, uh, your death is more important than everybody else's. I do want to talk about some of these, uh, these police deaths. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, here's the thing. I, I, I don't know if, if you should get a, 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 a parade. Well, Okay. Because does a garbage man who dies on the job, does he get a parade? I, I feel that police are along the same lines as like a military. Because because you're putting... Okay, you yeah. sign up for the job you sign up for. It's man. a dangerous job. You know okay. that any day you go to work could be your last day. Especially in the army <laughs> and police. And, and, and then like these police officers that died recently, it was like a domestic violence call. You don't think that's going to be... The, you know, you would think an yes. armed robbery, yes. you might die. Yes. So I get it. It, you know, so it's like, should they maybe get a posthumous, hum, whatever, whatever the word is, posthumous me, 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 medal of honor or something for dying in the line of duty? Because yeah. to be completely honest, dude, I don't want to be a police officer. I don't want to be in the military. No, I don't want a job no. where I could go to die every day. No. So I respect that. Like that, I get why they get some sort of recognition because yes. they're doing something that, yes, frankly, a lot of people don't want to do. Yes. But... I mean, who who's to say that they they weren't a complete P POS in life, dude? Like just <laughs> just because you're a police officer or an army it's guy. The, I don't want I don't want to get on on hypotheticals too much because well, no, there's too right. many variables. And I'm not bashing them by any means. You know, there's too many hypothetical uh, variables that we could throw in there. All I'm saying is that I don't I don't see you you know like national moment of silence and parades and all this other stuff and it's like. People, a lot of people die on a job. There's yeah. been people die on a job every day and nobody else is getting. And I understand it's like, you know, he was, if he was shot in the line of duty, that's, that's one thing. Yeah. But, well, it's no different. His death is no different than anybody I'll else. I'll throw this out there. How is that lesson more important than a doctor who caught COVID and died? Thank you, Jonas. There we go. No one's there throwing any go. damn parades for any there of these doctors that have died from go. COVID. Or you know, nurses. Or nurses. Or anybody. Surgeons, and that, whoever. And that's my point. Right. I mean, I think if anyone should be getting some recognition, some of these doctors that, like, you know, yeah. they're out here risking their life treating COVID, and they catch COVID and they die. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, man, if I go, if I die, don't treat me like a police officer. I don't want to parade all that. Sh we already talked about this no, earlier man. in the week, but I'm just saying it's like, look, it, everybody's death is it should be treated oh, with the same amount of reverence. I think the real so we problem, either throw parades for everybody or nobody gets a parade. The, it, it comes down to idolization, dude. That's what it is. That's the problem. If someone is deemed more important for any reason then they have special treatment. And it's not just with death. It's in life. Yeah. You know, if fair. Bob Saget walks in, walks up to the club, they let Bob Saget in. You're getting free drinks. He's in there. Right. But he's, you know what that boils down to is money. Oh yeah, that's true too. We got Bob Saget here tonight. Oh, I hear Bob Saget's in the club. Right. I'm coming to the club. Well, right. And, 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 but it all comes, yeah, it's all idolization. Cause if no one gave a crap about Bob Saget, no one would care that Bob Saget's in the club. So do you think that the parade because obviously I feel like every action has an ulterior motive, you know? So do you feel the parade is just to quell like the anger that did, some of the other, other police officers. Did they have a parade maybe? for those Houston officers that got shot? Uh, I'm pretty sure. I know they did for the New York um, one, is the one I'm talking I'm this case. I'm talking oh, okay. About. Yeah. Do but you that, think it's to quell some of the tensions that those other officers might be having? Because if, <sighs> if I go to work and they're like, oh yeah, man, the person that was just here, he died in the line of duty. And then you're like, oh, we just need you to do the same job. Pick up his slack. I'd be like, what? I think, I think it's a little bit of column A, but I think column B on that is to bring awareness. Awareness of what? That these jobs are, can be fatal in the most natural circumstances. Or something, it's like, it's almost a bit, okay. it, but it might be ulterior motives because, because to be completely real here, police have got a really bad rap over the last few years with they all have. the stuff that's going on. So maybe it's a like, look, he went to a domestic violence call and he died. Oh, he was trying so, to do good, you know, like a PR. So you think it's a little bit of PR. Obviously it's to help some of the other officers who might right. be like, I don't know if I want to be a cop now. That, yeah. Or yeah. like, this is really sad. And like, you need to treat it with the reverence it deserves because I'm a cop and he was a cop. Right. 
Well, yeah. Well, I guess I guess so if it's you're public a cop, relation, in-house relations. Yeah, and I guess if if you're a cop and you see your buddy die, oh, and they just literally are like, suck. "Well, John's gone. Get back to work, guys." Which is what they do at every <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> you know, but there's way less people that want to go be cops than want to work at an insurance company or work at Taco uh. Bell. So it's like it's about you know if they all quit due to that, then I don't know, dude. Alarm it's, went off, and there's no such thing as skilled labor. Yep unskilled labor <laughs> whatever <laughs> anyways that's all the time we have go to the crazytown.com and subscribe jonas dnt we out